Hi, so we're back in OneSearch, but I wanted to give you an example of a different keyword strategy. In this search bar, you can see that I added the keyword death penalty in quotation marks. So let's pretend that I want to write my paper about that. And surprisingly, OneSearch only gave me 113 sources, which is a little odd for me because OneSearch is supposed to give you a lot more. And even as you start looking at the results, at some point you start to realize that some of these articles mentioned the films and not so much the book by Capote. So this is a great example by which you would want to search an individual database such as Gale Literary Sources. So Gale Literary Sources is supposed to be one of our best databases for literary research. And when you open it up, it looks like this, the portal, Gale Literature. And this is one of the few databases in which I would actually recommend for you to click on the suggestion by the search bar. As you can see, the first suggestion is novel in parentheses. And then the second suggestion is nonfiction work. At this point, both of the first two would work well, but I think the novel one is the way to go. And when you do that, you're going to get all of these articles that are supposed to be directly about the In Cold Blood nonfiction novel by Truman Capote and not the films. So we get 119 results, but this database focuses on literary analysis. So all of these results should be in a way literary criticism. And what I wanna show you is the button on the right hand side that says search within. Because out of the 119 sources that it pulled up, if we wanted to be more specific, such as death penalty, we can add that keyword here and I can put it in quotation marks or not. And so out of those 119, this database is now sorting for only the ones that actually have the keyword death penalty in those. And so now I see nine out of the 119 results that we had previously pulled up. So this only guarantees me that within these articles, such as this very first one, the novel as prison, we are supposed to have this article that is exclusively about this novel and now we know that it has the keyword death penalty. And like the Gale eBooks, this database, you can easily get the citation up here in the top right hand corner and then you can also email it to yourself in that paper plane looking icon and if we do a keyboard command of control f and we start looking for death penalty we can see that they only really mention that phrase once but it could still be useful right i don't know if my topic was going to be about the death penalty and how that novel affected the law in American society for the death penalty. But I just wanted to show you an example of how this particular database, Gale Literature, can help you find more specific things exactly about a literary text. And I can always take out that search within keyword by clicking on that X circular um, button and I can search for something else, right? So out of the 119, let's say maybe I was interested in the gay um, subcurrent or I'm not sure if the best keyword is gay or queer, but in this little search bar, I can easily do gay or queer. And so, the database will know, okay, pull up anything that has either gay or queer as a keyword within those 119 articles. And it pulled up 21. So 
let's see something interesting. Um, the supervisory gaze and catharsis, panopticism. I don't know what that means, but you can look it up and maybe that is a great keyword that you hadn't thought about before. And just out of curiosity, I'm gonna do control F and I'm gonna type gay. And they mentioned that once, twice, just twice. I wonder if they mentioned the word queer. They don't mention the word queer. But at that point, I can easily see, okay, is this article actually talking about the gay undercurrent or queer element in Capote's novel? So we're back in one search, but I wanted to show you an example of the queer gay topic. So in this case, I put it in parentheses because once again, I don't know if the best keyword is gay or queer, and maybe I do want either of those keywords, right? So by putting them in parentheses, the database know that that counts as one keyword, one condition, and it's gonna pull up anything that has either A word or B word. So if I click enter, I actually pulled up 79 results in one search. And this first one, Capote and the Thrillings, Homophobia and Literary Culture at Mid-Century. If you click on the title, you open up the record and then you see the databases that are hosting that particular article, right? So coincidentally, we are seeing Gale Liter Literature Resource Center and then JSTOR. So whichever database, it doesn't really matter, right? But Let's say I'm opening JSTOR because I actually wanna look at that full text of that article. JSTOR is traditionally a great database for literary research or the humanities in general. And like I said, OneSearch is supposed to be looking through all of, all of Gale's and JSTOR's content. But depending on the database and the way you enter your keywords, the algorithm might show you some articles, you know, in a different order. So that is why it is recommended to play with the keywords. And I personally like to jump back and forth between the databases and OneSearch. So just as an example, we finally pulled this article up. You know, if I was interested in that topic of, of w w what is so gay or queer about Capote's novel, then I can start browsing or skimming through these articles until I kind of like solidify mentally what my angle or my research question is really going to focus on. And like most of our databases, JSTOR has a way for which you can cite this particular article, right? Um, Unfortunately, JSTOR doesn't have a, a good email function. So even though it, it has a share and then an email button right here, with JSTOR, I prefer to just copy the citation because the, the URL that they give you right here is a stable link that always pulls up that exact article. And if you wanted to just download the PDF, you can easily do so at this moment. So. With JSTOR, I usually open up my own email and just upload the PDF and copy and paste the citation. So yeah, you, you should play around with the keywords. And if you have any questions or if you get stuck somewhere, remember that you are so you are encouraged and, 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 and very well welcome to talk to a librarian. And at this point, you would have to go to the library's website and in our homepage at the bottom, you can start a chat virtually with a real librarian any time of the day, any day of the week. It might not be a Pierce librarian if it's really late or really early, but it's a nationwide service. A real librarian will help you. So don't be afraid to ask. You know, my philosophy as a librarian is if I can help you save time in the research process, then I would be happy to, to do that for you.